No longer a stay-at-home order, it is a stay-safe Ohio order. Yep, you heard correctly. Ohio's stay-at-home order has expired. A new order is in its place. It's called Stay Safe Ohio. This afternoon, the Ohio governor spoke about what this means moving forward. Thanks so much for joining us at 4 o'clock. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. It was announced last night that the Stay Safe Ohio order is in place until May 29th. However, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine says not to read too much into the expiration date because things will change. He went on to say that we will open a number of things in Ohio this month, but Ohioans must continue to use safe practices. Those practices include safe distancing, sanitizing and wearing masks. He explained home is still the safest place for Ohioans to be. Fellow Ohioans, we can do two things at once. Um, we can do it. We can stay safe. We can protect each other. Uh, we can protect our most vulnerable uh, and at the same time move our business back and get, get people back to work. The governor did give a timeline of reopening today. Healthcare facilities, along with dental offices and veterinarians, can open starting today. Starting Monday, offices, industry, construction, those that are not open will be allowed to open. May 12th is retail. Working groups are still trying to figure out best practices so salons, gyms, and restaurants can open. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan did speak to researchers at UC about this approach and joins us live with that perspective. Hi, Josh. Hi, Tanya. Yeah, the order was signed late last night, and today was the first opportunity to ask Governor DeWine about those decisions. He says it's time to get life back on track but slowly and safely. The experts I spoke to at UC agree that that is the best move. Let's keep our people safe. Uh, let's get our businesses back open. Uh, let's, let's move forward. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is laying out his plan to reopen Ohio while still working to limit the spread of the coronavirus. The state will allow certain businesses and services to open up gradually throughout the month, including construction, manufacturing, and retail shops. But it is ordering people to stay home except to do approved activities until May 29th. It's a new order with a new name. Stay safe, Ohio. Uh, not, not a stay-at-home order. Uh, and so... We've reached a new stage. It doesn't mean that the virus, that we stop the virus. The virus is there. And now that we are planning to relax the interventions, um, the virus is going to take off again. Diego Quadros and Neil McKinnon are researching the coronavirus pandemic spread for the University of Cincinnati. They say Ohio's restrictions have helped reduce the virus's spread by 35 to 40 percent, but caution against opening things up too quickly. If everything opened at once, I believe our analysis also show that we would have the second surge, the second um, really a uh, huge impact on our health care system that we wouldn't be able to, to handle. The UC professors say Governor DeWine's current plan to slowly open certain businesses while asking people to stay home, social distance, and limit interactions is the right move at this time. This research shows a faster approach could overwhelm the health care system and even create a second surge of COVID-19. I think all of us would like things to open up perhaps quicker, uh, more, more uh, rapidly, but again, I think it really follows this prudent, phased and cautious approach doesn't mean we doesn't mean the virus has gone away doesn't mean we don't have to uh, exercise good judgment uh, doesn't mean the basic principles that we've been talking about don't still apply uh, they very very much still apply again governor dewine says not to pay too much attention to the may 29th date for the stay at home portion of this order he says that could change as they begin to roll out this gradual phased reopening of the state. Reporting live in Mount Adams, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.